case of Robert Lee Stinson um, is a guy in Milwaukee who was convicted in the mid-1980s of a sexual assault and murder based on, almost entirely, on forensic odontology evidence. That's uh, dental evidence, bite mark evidence. The, uh, the forensic dentist, the odontologist, uh, opined that no one's teeth could have made those marks on the victim's body except Robert Lee Stinson. DNA testing after Robert Lee Stinson had spent 23 years in prison proved that he was not the person who, who killed that victim and left those bite marks, that it was actually somebody else, also identified by the DNA testing, who when then confronted with the DNA results, confessed and explained how he had committed this particular crime. That's just one example. It's a very stark one because Robert Lee Stinson spent 23 years in prison from the time when he was a very young man. He, he comes out in his, in his 40s having lost all those years, um, really because of bad forensic science evidence.